Hider grade 10. Today's topic is the reproductive system, female and male reproductive system. For today's objective, we need to describe the parts of the reproductive system, explain the role of hormone involved in female and male reproductive system. But before proceeding to our topic, let's have our pre-assessment. Read and listen to each question carefully. Select the best answer and write it on your paper. When does reproductive system in humans become active? When an individual A. Grows taller B. Is in high school C. Is in college Or D. Reaches puberty How can a sperm be ejected? A sperm can be ejected through A. Ejaculation B. Taking a bath, C. Urination, or D. Blood circulation. For number three, which of the following structures of the male reproductive system is responsible in producing sperm cells? A. Penis, B. Prostate gland, C. Scrotum, or D. Testis. The blank carries the sperm from the testis to the urethra. A. Scrotum B. Testis C. Seminal vesicle or D. Bas deferens Which of the following statement is true? A. The urethra supports the urinary system B. The urethra serves as a passageway for fluids C. The urethra is a pathway for sperm cells or D. The urethra is a pathway for both urine and male reproductive fluids now that we are done with our pre-assessment, what is a reproductive system? Reproductive system is the biological system made up of all the anatomical organs involved in sexual reproduction according to Wikipedia. It is also a collection of internal and external organs in both males and females that work together for the purpose of procreating. This is a typical picture of a male reproductive system and its parts. One is the testicle. Next is scrotum. Penis. Bas deferens. Prostate gland. Seminal vesicle and urethra. In the previous slide, you have seen the typical picture of a male reproductive system. Now, I'm going to discuss the parts and function of male reproductive system. First is the scrotum. The scrotum consists of sac of skin that holds the testes. In cold temperatures, the scrotum becomes firm and wrinkled, reducing the overall size of the scrotum. Testes, or testis if singular. It is the organ within the scrotum, each about 4 to 5 cm long, and which the sperm cell develops. Penis, it is the organ that transfer of sperm cell from the male to the vagina of the female. Another part is the vas deferens, or known as tube. It carries the sperm from the testes to urethra. Urethra, it carries sperm and urine out of the body. Seminal vesicle, it secretes one of the components of the semen. And the seminal vesicle is one of the three glands of the male reproductive system. The second gland under the male reproductive is the prostate gland. It secretes milky fluid that is discharged into the urethra as part of the semen. We have also the cowper's gland or known as bulbo urethral gland. It secretes a thick and clear mucus that lubricates and neutralizes the trace of acidic urine in the urethra. Now that we are done discussing male reproductive system, 
Let us discuss the female reproductive system and its parts. First, we have the ovary or ovaries. We have two ovaries and its function is to produce egg cells. Next is fallopian tube or also known as the oviduct. It serves as a passageway of eggs from the ovary to the uterus or the site of egg fertilization. The anan ng napuproduce na egg galing sa ovary papunta ng uterus. Uterus serves as the site of egg implantation. It is where the fertilized egg develops. Uterus, dito rin nabubuo ang makapal na dugo na nagiging menstruation. At kung hindi ito naging menstruation, dito nabubuo ang inyong mga baby. We have vagina. It receives the penis of male during mating. Now that you have learned the parts of female reproductive system, here are the list of the major functions of female reproductive system. Number one is to produce female egg cell. Egg cell is needed to create a baby. Receive sperm cell from the male. A baby cannot be created if only egg cell. So we need a sperm cell coming from the male. Nurture the development and provide nourishment for new individual. If the baby is being made, we have to give proper nourishment for the baby. Now that we are done discussing reproductive system, let's proceed to learning task 1. Let's get started. Direction. Observe the picture found at the center of the model. Connect your observations to your prior knowledge. Write your answer on a separate paper. Observe the picture above. Identify what is the system. Describe the system. Give the functions of the system and list down the organs of that system. Now, observe the second image. Identify the system. Describe the system. Give the functions of the system and list down the organs of the system. Now that you are done, Answering learning task 1, let us proceed with learning task 2. You complete me. Direction. Given below are the pictures of male and female reproductive system. Given the pictures, answer the questions below and choose your answer inside the box. Based on the direction, here are the pictures that you need to analyze and the choices of words inside the box to answer the questions in the next slide. 